Cloud or AI? Which should you learn in 2025? AI is clearly booming, cloud jobs are everywhere. So which is going to give the most opportunity, the highest income, and also job security as well? The good news is you don't have to choose. I'm going to show you in this video how you can combine cloud skills and AI skills to build the most in-demand skill set in the industry today. And I'll show you how our students are landing jobs faster by doing exactly that. My name is Neil Davis and I'm the founder of Digital Cloud Training and over the past several years I've trained over a million students and helped many to transition into tech roles. I've been working myself in tech for over 25 years and I can tell you this from experience. If you're trying to decide between learning cloud or learning AI in 2025, the best thing to do is to do both, but to make sure you do it in the correct order. Let me explain why. AI is super powerful, but it actually runs on the cloud. So whether it's chat GPT or voice assistants or fraud detection systems, these are running on cloud platforms like AWS or Azure or Google Cloud Platform. You see virtually all cloud services that you're using today or that companies want to leverage are going to be built in the cloud. And if you're a company building your own solutions, your own gen AI or machine learning enabled applications, you're going to do so using cloud infrastructure. That gives you the ability to build these systems using components that already exist, as well as leveraging the scale and cost advantages of working with the cloud. So cloud skills come first, understanding the cloud platform, building a cloud engineering skill set so you understand how to work with a cloud platform like AWS, as well as having other requisite skill sets like Linux and Python as well. For instance, in our Cloud Mastery Bootcamp, we teach you those core skills first. We start with the IT fundamentals, we move through to Linux so that you understand how to use Linux, to script, to administer Linux systems because that really is the operating system in the cloud. And then we move on to the cloud itself and you build very strong skill sets in Amazon Web Services. We help you to earn certifications, but really critically make sure you build the hands-on experience as well, because hands-on is really what lands you the job at the end of the day. So we start with that. We start with the IT fundamentals, move through Linux, move into the cloud, and then from there we can start building some skill sets in Gen AI and machine learning. In fact, even if you're going for a pathway that isn't an AI specific pathway, for example, we have pathways in the bootcamp for people to become a cloud engineer, or a cloud architect or a DevOps engineer, I still recommend that you choose one of the modules that is AI. So for example, the AWS Certified AI Practitioner Certification Module, and then we run live AI specific training regularly as well so that you can learn directly from instructors. Part of the AI training will be to learn services in AWS, such as Amazon Bedrock for building Gen AI applications and AWS SageMaker, Langchain, Agentic AI, and how to build, deploy, and scale machine learning models in the cloud, including ML ops practices and secure implementation of the solutions. This is where you really start standing out from other candidates. You'll have the cloud platform knowledge, but you'll also have a good knowledge of AI systems as well. We have seen in the industry today that many employers are requiring that new employees have AI skill sets. Now, it's super important that you get the necessary experience so that you can demonstrate that to employers through a portfolio, which is what really helps you to get interviews and get hired. So experience over and above certifications. We need both. We take the certification exams as well because that is something that employers are going to look for on your resume when they're screening applicants. But then you also need to be able to demonstrate some practical ability to solve real world problems. In our bootcamp, we have something called the competency building framework. This is our unique methodology for how we teach the tech skills, but also get you ready for the job. For the foundation layer, we start with skills and certifications. So building those skills across some IT skills, some Linux skills, we teach Python, we have some Terraform as well, as well as specific certifications such as the AWS Certified Solutions Architect or the AI Practitioner. 
Then we help you build real world hands-on skills. We do this a few different ways. We have something called scenario-based learning, which is where we give you specific scenarios and you work through those to actually build some solutions on AWS. Then we go to challenge-based learning. Now that you know how to do it, but you're following instructions, we actually give you some challenges that you have to solve on your own. And of course, we're always there to support you. The third piece is then project-based learning. This is where we go into real-world projects, capstone projects, which are much more complex. These are really great for putting on your resume, putting into your portfolio so you can demonstrate to employers the type of thing that you build and the experience you gained along the way. We even use group collaboration workshops where you'll be put into teams to work on projects like this as well with instructor oversight. Now we don't just stop there because here you've built some skills and you've built some experience, but you need to really get in front of employers as well. So we have a program called the Tech Career Accelerator. In the Tech Career Accelerator, we teach you how to build a personal brand, how to create a portfolio of the project work that you've actually performed in the bootcamp, how to write your resume and make sure that it stands out with the right information there, and also how to prepare for real interviews, including some actual live interview preparation as well. We teach you how to negotiate salaries like a professional, and most importantly, skip the queue and actually get in front of employers directly so that you're not just another resume in a cluttered inbox. And this is where most people fall short. They get qualified, they may even build up some good experience, but they're invisible. They're not getting seen, they're not getting noticed because there's so many applicants going for the same jobs. We help you to stand out and actually get in front of the employer. So in terms of whether you should learn cloud or AI in 2025, the simple answer is learn cloud first and then learn AI and ML on top. So you're actually doing both because both of these skill sets are gonna really drive the most value. We know that AI is being deployed mostly in the cloud. So having the cloud skills along with the AI and machine learning skills is really gonna give you an advantage in the world today. And most importantly, it's all about hands-on. It's not just about watching videos or getting certified. You need to do those things, but you also need to make sure you build up a portfolio of real project work. That's going to be the way that you make sure that you stand out from other applicants, land the interview, and ultimately the job. If you're ready to build real-world hands-on skills and jump into cloud and AI, you might want to check out our Cloud Mastery Bootcamp. You can learn more by checking the link in the description of this video. There you can see all of our different programs and you also have an opportunity to book a call with one of our student success advisors who can help you to understand if this program is the right program for you and if it is, which of the different options that we have would be the best fit. So remember, you don't need to choose between cloud or AI. You can stack these together and build the best skill set, the one that's in the most demand in the industry today. That's it for this video, but don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more videos about how to succeed in your cloud career.